Delta 2618 Hey guys, Southern Aviator here. Hope everybody out there is doing well. Uh, in this video, I want to show you the easiest way to get a CFMU validated flight plan from Eurocontrol. Uh, this is something I found to be a pain in the neck, uh, but I found a very easy way, or at least it's easy for me, and I hope it's as easy for you guys. All right, so I'll go straight into it. Um, there's three types of flights that you'll have to deal with. Um, one is like in the example here, and this is PFPX, if you don't already know that. Um, this is Shannon to Munich. Um, this is a flight where the flight will start and it will end and it will remain in Euro control airspace the entire time. Uh, the second type of flight is one, this is a JFK to Amsterdam. Um, it's a flight where you will depart a station or arrive at a station that is not in Euro control airspace but you will, you will at some point enter it and land in Euro control airspace or you will at some point uh, exit uh, Euro control airspace going to some other station. And last, uh, I've chosen a JFK to Bombay, uh, excuse me, <laughs> JFK to Dubai, because this is the type of flight where you will transition through Euro control airspace, but you won't land or depart it. Uh, and each one has to be dealt with differently using this method. Uh, so let's go back to the Shannon to Munich flight. Um, so first thing you need to do is go to, go to this website. And I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. Let me go ahead and start over here. All right, so you're going to end up on this page, uh, and the first thing you need to do is create a login. All right, so in creating the login, it doesn't cost you any money. It's completely free, and it's very painless. It might take you a couple minutes tops to create your login, uh, but you will need one. After you do that, then you need to go to Aircraft Hangar, and you need to create an aircraft. Uh, and, you know, try to create an aircraft uh, that's similar to the one that you typically use in Flight Simulator. Now, if you're a person that uses several different types, um, then that's fine, but just create, you know, a general aviation type, uh, jet type, you know, just something where this software can have an idea about what type of airplane you're in. So me, uh, I usually fly jets, um, and if I fly a G8 airplane, usually it's not in Europe. Um, so for me, I just created the one. So here's a, a 777 that I created. Um, just generic stuff. I mean, really, you know, you don't need to have a whole lot of cool stuff in there. Just do the basics to get a generic airplane placed in there. Once you've done that, uh, go to Route Finder. And all this stuff stays in there. It, 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 every time you log in, it, it saves all of your aircraft types. So you don't have to do it over and over again. But anyway, once you have all that done, go to Route Finder. And this is where all the magic happens. All right, so first things first. Um, Let's go ahead and put in Shannon and let's put in, uh, excuse me, Munich. Uh, here's your Z time, 2016Z. So we're just going to put that for a time that's after 2016. So I'll go with 2100. Go ahead and drop your aircraft type in that you intend to use. Uh, and also, whatever day, usually I choose day of because it's usually when I'm going to fly it. Uh, and from that point, you just hit search. Um, this first part right here, there are flight plans that have already been filed. Uh, a lot of them are really old. You can try to grab one of those if you want, but it's hit or miss. But what I'm interested in is the um, proposed routes. So I have five results here that I've been given back. Um, you can click map and you can take a peek at where the points are. Um, you can hit validate and it'll give you a validation right here. So you see no errors detected, which you shouldn't get any because it's a proposed route that's coming back from Euro control. Uh, then you can take and hit copy. You can take that and you can copy it and then you can put it into PFPX. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll go ahead and hit plan. We'll drop to the route section. Hit paste. Uh, build it. And go to validate. And hit validate. And voila, the flight plan is passed here from your validation. That easy, simple, and painless. And you can use that for your flight plan. 
All right, so that's the first type that's taken care of. Second type is the kind where you will either depart or land in your control, but not necessarily be in your control the entire time. So I'm going to use the JFK to Amsterdam as a example of that. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go to, let's clear this out. And we'll put JFK and we'll put Amsterdam. All right. Now, with this, you want to enter Euro control the right way. All right. So, what you want to do, the easiest way, especially since you'll be coming off the NAT tracks, is to just grab a NAT track. Um, find your most efficient track. You know, you can use PFPX to do that. But whatever track you end up picking, grab it here um, and then hit copy to place it up here. And the reason why is because the software needs to know how you intend to enter Euro control helps it and makes it a lot more painless to grab a route and get a route uh, sent back to you so now uh, all we need to do is just hit search and it's going to plan using these points alright so we got five routes that got proposed back so we'll hit map and there's the route nice and simple uh, we can hit a validate here so there it is it's passed there so now we'll just copy that take it copy it put it into PFPX uh, let's go to route let me clear that out that's one of my stored routes um, and then hit paste build and now let's validate it alright there we go we've passed validation very easy very painless alright so the last type is the kind that will transition through Euro control airspace but not necessarily land or depart it will just be going through it for a second so this one has to be dealt with a different way and this is probably the most difficult but it's really not difficult there's a way to trick the system to make it work alright so let's go ahead and put in uh, Dubai and let's get a track so let's just pick Victor doesn't really matter and let's hit search and as you can see very quickly it gives me no proposed routes and the reason why is because you're not landing or departing your control airspace so it doesn't really know what to do so here's how I deal with this alright so I go into PFPX uh, let's go to plan and let's go to find and let's go to advanced alright so let's go upper airspace and these are also fur boundaries or, eight, or airspaces that US carriers are not permitted to fly through uh, so I have those placed in there kind of as a default thing because I want to stay away from that as I try to get over to Dubai so I'm gonna hit find and let it find a route okay so it's finally giving us a route back so what I'm going to do is, is I know I can get a validated flight plan coming off the track up until this point. But now what I want to do is find out where am I exiting Euro control airspace. And where I'm exiting is right here at Paxis. So I want to try to find an airport somewhere in here if I can that's closest to my route that I can plan to. So I know I can get a validated route at least up to that point. So this right here seems like a good enough airport. It's close to our route. Um, it's Lima Golf Sierra Tango. Alright, so I have the uh, track placed in, doesn't really matter the track, and I put in LGST right here. So now I hit search. Alright, so I got a route back, it gave me one. Let's take a map look at it. So, okay, that looks fine. Let's copy it and place it into PFPX alright so I paste it there hit build alright so as you can see it planned it all the way up to this point but now I need to take care of this so what we do to take care of that is we go auto with a plus symbol and hit build that opens up the special window one upper airspace so now it's just going to plan from that point to Dubai the rest is taken care of and I want to avoid these airspaces while I'm at it so I hit find alright so there we go we avoid the restricted airspaces and now I am going to attempt to get a validation so let's hit validate
All right, so it comes back and it says that from this vortex till Zavis along A14, we're coming in too high. Uh, we uh, we need to be at or below 245. Well, I don't want to go 245 that far out. So typically, this is I mean this is pretty easy to deal with. I just want to find a route that is adjacent to the route that we're using that I can avoid this and I don't have to go lower. So looking at it, uh, looks like it picks up Uniform Lima 607 route all the way to Paxis. And here's Uniform 607 right along here. And it connects right here at this Vortac, which is Athens Vortac. So I'm just going to pick up 607 instead of running on uh, this particular route here. I'm just going to go aside to it. So I'm going to go back here and find Athens VOR which is ATV and let's see how far can I take 607 well it looks like it goes all the way to G side right here so I'm gonna go to my route and I'm gonna go uniform Lima 607 to G side so I'm just gonna delete all this because uh, I pick up 607 again anyway alright so I take that and I build All right, now we're not on this particular route anymore. We're right next to it. And the reason why I do that is because I know my route's good from coming off the tracks all the way until I get up to this area here. So I don't need to take care of anything back here. I just need to take care of this part. And hopefully we've done so by taking the route that was right next to it. So let's go ahead and try to get a validation. And there we have it. We have a pass route. So now we have a validated route from JFK all the way to Dubai that goes through Euro Control airspace. And there's our routing. So the last thing I'm going to do to throw in here is that you can also plan to certain uh, intersections or arrival intersections. So I'm just going to put in LIRF, which is Rome, Italy. And I'm going to pick a track and we're going to just go ahead and use JFK again and let's just copy this one again and let's hit search alright so five results are, are back and when we hit copy we see so here's the LCAP transition here's the Zybel transition Zybel again Zybel and Zybel. So we got one of them was LCAP, but let's say I want it all to be Zybel. I want to get all my, that's the fix that I specifically want. Well, to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and put our track back in as it was, and I'm just going to put Zybel right here at the end. And now it's going to route to that point. So let's hit search again. Alright, fire results back. So now we have Zybel, 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 Zybel again, and Zybel. All routes that came back were fixed over this particular waypoint or intersection. So I just want to throw it out there that you can force it to go over a particular fix that you want. Uh, now I don't know if you can get an in route fix, if it can find something that works for that and make it work, then fine. But typically you know it's arrival and departure fixes that you can force it over so anyway that'll conclude this video i uh, hope you guys found it helpful um, if you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more like it uh, until next time southern aviator see you guys